I'm seeing Sam Darnold in, let me see, get this right, four days. Because I'm meeting with the Vikings on Friday in London. Nice. Hello. Very excited for this game. Jets and Vikings. You know, it was so close to being 4-0 and versus 3-1, and as we know the Jets in a rainy day against uh, the Broncos. Honored Zach Wilson's re, uh, re-emergence in that stadium by playing their worst offensive game. Some show videos <laughs> welcoming somebody back. Others just say, hey, uh, we'll honor you, Zach. At any rate, the Vikings are a terrific football team. And Sam Darnold is, at the quarter post point, an MVP candidate. No doubt. And he is playing really Fun, excellent football. He is 4-0. and And the first quarterback to win each of his first four career starts for a team with two or more touchdown passes in each of the wins. The list of players in the Super Bowl era to do that is just him. That's it. Only guy to do that. Two touchdowns for Jordan Addison. Justin Jefferson isn't going off like 200-yard games. He's just getting, you know, 100 here, 80 there, touchdown every each week. one. Yeah, That's exactly. It. Aaron Jones Looks good. goes back to Looks Lambeau. Good. And they led 28 to nothing. They held on for dear life to win this game, which is, you know, going to be some, some interesting conversations in the Brian Flores film rooms this week i imagine on two continents <laughs> two ends of the atlantic but the 28 point lead the vikings had in the first half is the most by a minnesota team at lambeau field at any point in any game that they played there since week 13 1973 that's Ooh, how wow. well these wow. vikings are playing wow it's the most first half points by Minnesota against any divisional opponent since week 13 of 2007. Sam Darnold, your MVP candidate from the Minnesota Vikings, had this to say as he's getting set to take on his former team, the team that drafted him next. You know, our attacking schemes um, on offense, defense, special teams, um, and then the players we got. Um, you know, it's a, it's a really good formula for success in this league, but at the end of the day, like, we, we believe in each other um, more than anyone else believes in us. So, um, you know, it's a really, really good formula. But, again, we, we got to continue to learn um, from the things um, that we didn't do in this game, um, you know, the way that they were able to come back. Um, you know, like I said on offense, I feel like we could have been a lot better in the second half and just got to continue to learn and, and uh, grow. And I'm sure he'll treat the whole taking on the Jets thing with the high class as he is now a guy with six career, three touchdown pass games or better. He had only four coming in. He's got half of those this year. Six total, four coming in, two this year, and um, did it back-to-back games last week and this week. He's never done that before. Playing out of his skull. Jordan Palmer will join us in the next hour to crow about him saying, I told you so. (laughs) That's coming. How are they not the best team in the NFC right now, right? That's something we can talk about later, but I I think that... uh, You mean on our overreaction Monday part? Correct, yeah. I think they're playing the best team, uh, you know, best in the NFC. Yeah, I think they are. What if the I want to see Seattle today? What, what, I was about to say, what if the Seahawks hold to Jared Goff to less than 150 yards passing, which means they would do that to every one of their opponents so far this year? What about that? What if they go in and just beat up Detroit tonight? Then you'd have to give Seattle that same flowers, right? Uh, yes, the Vikings have had a little harder schedule. Home against San Francisco, home against Houston, at Green Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Vikings would get a little bit of a nod for me. Right. The Chiefs have played but Seattle two be right. at home. Seattle's right there. Chiefs have played two at home, two on the road, just like the Vikings. Yeah. One in division here in Los Angeles. Two at home against the two teams one would think were the best teams in the NFC, AFC North, when 
The Steelers are three and one right now. Detroit really beats teams up. That's going to be a physical game tonight. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I like Minnesota, number one in the NFC. Okay. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.